Project Power introduces a world of drug-induced superpowers, but the movie ends with more than a few unanswered questions. A lot of modern superhero movies have trouble fitting everything into just one film, and even though the movie keeps its story relatively simple, there's always going to be a few loose threads. And through either some clever extrapolation or just total speculation, we think we can tie some of those up. I'm Greg Elliott with Screen Rant, and yes, there will be spoilers ahead. And now, let's look at Project Power's biggest unanswered questions. When Telios caught Wendell Tracy, they wanted to experiment on her like they did on me. And that's when we just took off. The power drug is based on Tracy's DNA as a result of military experiments on Art and other Army Rangers, which is actually something the movie borrowed from a Captain America storyline. We know that Art escaped and raised his daughter before Telios caught up to them, but there's absolutely no other mention of those other rangers. So what happened to them? Is there a souped up military outfit doing covert ops somewhere? Or did any of them have kids with superpowers? We don't know, but it's definitely something a sequel could explore. Where are they? Behind you. <laughs> The film establishes early on that power only gives the user abilities for five minutes, but when Frank chases down the camouflaging bank robber, that guy's ability seems to last longer than Frank's bulletproofness does. So how did that happen? Well, as with most action slash sci-fi films, this is probably just an oversight or maybe something that the filmmakers did just out of convenience to make the scene work. In the movie's climax, Art unleashes his superpower in a blaze of glory, and that only lasted a few moments. So maybe Camouflage Man took another pill while on the run that we didn't see, or maybe that five-minute rule just isn't exactly the same for everyone. You think you could heal a gunshot wound? After Art goes shrimp Nova on the Genesis, the big reveal is that his daughter Tracy can heal people. But earlier, when Robin finds her on the boat, she clearly has a scar on her neck, presumably from the extraction and testing of her DNA, and she's initially weak and slow when trying to escape. So why couldn't Tracy just heal herself? Well, this could be another oversight, but that's kind of hard to imagine. So maybe the Teleo scientist found a way to temporarily negate her powers in order to perform the tests? Eh, who knows? You think this is really over? Our next question is, what's left of Telios now? Now, Biggie says that their entire operation was aboard the Genesis, but the full power project has to be larger than just this one operation, especially since it seems to have ties to the government. Now, the movie doesn't blatantly set up a sequel, but it's entirely possible that there's more going on with the development of the drug in other places, especially if some of those rangers are still around. So the question is, what's your power? The movie shows or mentions 13 distinct powers, but are there more? There's nothing that says that that's all of them. Since they're derived from animal abilities, there could easily be more we might see down the road. There's animals that can fly, are poisonous or venomous, that can see in infrared, and the Turritopsis jellyfish can even age backwards. So the possibilities are endless, and this leads us to our last question. So what's your power? I don't even know. Oh, come on. You ain't tried it. For most of the movie, we were wondering if Robin would ever pop a power pill herself, but she never does, which leaves whatever her superpower might be a mystery. She does have some impressive freestyle skills, so maybe that's a hint. Maybe hers is vocally based, like Black Canary and Birds of Prey, or maybe some kind of verbal mind control like Kilgrave and Jessica Jones or Allison in the Umbrella Academy. But until they answer that question, we'll just have to enjoy her current power whenever Netflix releases the soundtrack. Maybe it's an exercise in futility to try to answer superhero movie questions, but we just can't help ourselves and maybe our power is just to keep bringing them up as we see them. So keep coming back to Screen Rant for more TV and movie talk. I'm Greg Elliott, and we'll see you next time.